and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2! And we are back here in the Island Treasure Zoo where I think I have, yep, a trash can to empty out. Thank you, child! Thank you for doing your part to help the environment and putting your trash where it belongs. And also some very cranky platypi yet again. So, oh my gosh. There we go. Have to empty that out. Have to groom our little platypus. Have to clean up after them. They do have a zookeeper. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my goodness, I wanted to take a picture and then it all got too exciting. Too much hype. Too much... Oh, look at him. Look at him splash. Isn't that just adorable? <gasps> Look at my little platypus just splash around on its little back. Oh my gosh. And thank you guys so much to your comments. It was so exciting to see a lot of the Australians speak up and be like, yeah, platypus. And then they mentioned how they usually live in riverbeds, especially ones that have a lot of rocks on the bottom. And they can dive anywhere from like three feet to 30 feet or one to like, let's see, 10 meters, I think it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, so exciting. And somehow they tossed their fish bucket. I don't know how they did it, but they've managed to get their fish bucket all the way like up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put their fish bucket back where it belongs. But things are going pretty well in our little island zoo. We've got finally some happy platypus. I need to come over here and check on our little couscous. They're a little trickier to take care of than I thought they would be. Let's see, oh, we can probably make them a little happier now. Let's get some new, let's get some new biome on the bottom down here. I think I want to change up this this couscous exhibit really quickly. Let's go ahead. We're gonna redo it. I kind of want to put in, should we put in like bamboo forest? What does this look like? Let's put in bamboo forest because it's nice and green and I think this suits them a lot better. And let's go ahead and we're gonna make a teensy little thing of shallow water over here where they can drink from. And like we just learned from Ben, we do not want to use the smoothing tool. I always thought you needed to use the smoothing tool to like make it really nice for him. But no, 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 no. You don't want to use the smoothing tool. And then let's go ahead and just put down what plants we have. There he goes. She's like, woo, water. Oh, and red kangaroo one is going to give birth. We have so many baby kangaroos. Do kangaroos really breed this quickly? I don't remember. I thought Joey's like stayed in the pouch for quite a while. Look how many kangaroos we have. All right, let's come back over here. I'm going to miss the birth. Is that red kangaroo number one? I'm pretty sure that's red kangaroo number one. Should we name like our kangaroos? Do you guys have some cool kangaroo names? Oh, we need to scoop that poop in just a minute. But I want to see the baby be born. And again, because these are marsupials, normally you would not see the baby born like you would say a cow or a kitten or a puppy or something like that. They would just be kind of, they would be born inside the pouch more or less, usually inside. And they would stay there for months and months and months. Where's the baby? There's the baby! Oh, look how colorful it is. I really love seeing the color variants on the kangaroos. What do you think, mama? What do you think? Do you take care of this little one? Normally, they would take care of the joeys for a little while, but I don't think they do here. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to get, I'm going to see if I can remember to put up a picture of a kangaroo with a joey in her pouch to show you guys, because it's so cute when that happens. And until then, let's go ahead. Pally plus one dislikes being in a smelly exhibit. Uh, I forget the burden that having water animals is when you don't have the um, the filters yet. What does Old Salty think about everything? Is he coming up? He's just coming over to eat the fish. I really would love if he'd play with the prey dummy. All right, and what do you think, sir? Dave, really? <laughs> Look at Green Australian Tree Frog 3 calling to Old Salty. Why are you doing that, you silly frogs? Green Australian Tree Frog 6 looks comfortable in its exhibit. I can't wait to see the animals, so he's having a grand old time. He might be coming over to give some donations. We should probably put another donor box. I'll go ahead and put it maybe back here, maybe right here. I'll go ahead and put the donor box right there. I'm kind of thinking this would be a good spot for maybe a little gift shop or something like that. So we'll consider that. All right, I need to come back over. I really want to get the spud couscous there areas so that it can look nice and pretty over here for them. All right, hello, being curious. Oh, curious couscous, curious couscous. Oh, that's so cute. I like you. We're going to name you Curious Couscous. Kind of like Curious George the monkey, only this is going to be Curious Couscous. And rain or Rainbow Kangaroo. <laughs> Red Kangaroo, too, is now pregnant. So that's exciting. I don't know why I almost said Rainbow Kangaroo. That's pretty hilarious. All right, let's see what kind of cool plants I can stick in here. Some bracken ferns. Yeah, look at those bracken ferns. Those actually look pretty neat. I wonder if I could get some better enrichment items in here for these guys. What are their enrichment items? Or maybe, oh, look at this. An elevated nest box would probably be really good for them. 
Um, maybe a lookout post? Because I don't think... I've never seen them use this monkey bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the monkey bridge. Um, and I want to see if they would use like these lookout posts instead. So let's go ahead and put that down. And we'll see if they climb up on this. The koalas often will climb up on those. Oh, we need... Yeah, go in and investigate the lookout posts. They're all like, hey, what's this? There's a new thing in here. All right, let's put down some toys. I don't think I gave them very many toys. So I want to put down like a few rattles and things, especially over here where people can watch them. I love watching animals play with enrichment items. That always makes me feel so much better, especially at a zoo. It's the zoos where you don't see any enrichment items at all that really irk me. You gotta take good care of these guys. If you're gonna take the responsibility of having the animal ambassadors, you need to take good care of them. All right, let's go ahead and put this one down. And anything else? I think they should be good. All right, they've got like a, they've got, they would like some berries perhaps. I think that they're okay though, because the zookeepers are taking good care of them. Should I put down any, any like cattails maybe? No, maybe some pretty lily pads. The bracken ferns are like really nice actually. So maybe a couple more of those. Maybe some bushes and trees. Let's see if I can get them some more bushes and trees to enjoy. Like the box elder is very pretty. Research for the elevated nest box is complete. So let's go ahead and tuck that like over here by all the palm trees. They really love the palm trees. So maybe a few more palm trees. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit like right there. Maybe another one right over here. And a couple over here. You know, why not keep to some of the simple trees that we know they can climb and enjoy? Normally, you would not put the trees so close to uh, the fencing where they could just, like, climb right out. But thankfully, our spotted couscous rarely realized that they could do that. So that should be okay. All right, anything else? I think that's good on trees. Any bushes or anything? See, look at them climb up the trees. I think that was a good call on those kinds of trees. Um, I don't really want to put any mangrove trees or anything over there. A bush? A nice bush? I am a fan of bushes. I do love bushes. And these bushes are pretty neat because you can put them down and they kind of like take up huge areas, but they're super easy to see through so you don't lose your animals. Um, maybe put this one like back here. See, they fill in the area pretty nicely. All right, let's put some daisies down because I do like these daisies. All right, maybe that's too many daisies. Hmm. Hmm. You have to learn to use just enough of the plants. It's so hard sometimes. I think that's better though. I like this. All right, what do you think, little kid? Educate your Patel. Educate your Patel is very educational. Wonderful. Spy Couscous, Couscous 4 and Spy Couscous 8 are grooming each other. Wonderful. They seem happy. I think they look really happy. Now we have Curious Couscous and they're up in their little bushes. So I think that bodes well. Whoops. All right. And we actually have a challenge that we need to be working on for to, to, to do our fame. And that is the Endangered Species Alliance offering us a free endangered species we don't already have if we take three pictures of happy endangered species. And I think we already took one that counted. I'm pretty sure the platypus counted. Um, let me check. Like, is it going to tell me? I don't think it's going to tell me right now. If the platypus counts. Um, I don't think Old Salty counts. Old Salty, I'm pretty sure you're not like a endangered species. And I think I did take... Oh, is it playing with their little toys? Are you playing with your little toy over here? Did I just miss that? What was that noise? Is that really what a platypus sounds like? Okay, I didn't get the little... The little icon thing. Oh, we haven't released any animals to the wild. That'll really help get our fame up when we start doing that. Um, I think the platypus, huh, I think the platypus may have helped with the fame. All right, how are our frogs doing? Let's come over here and look at them. They seem to be doing pretty decent. All right. So we need, ah, oh, I'm losing my stars. We need to hurry and get some more animals in here. So let's go ahead. I actually was thinking between the kiwi or the koala. And I really want to add in a kiwi or koala because I think that that would be really fun. There's also the Goodfellows tree kangaroo, who is another choice for somebody I would like to add in. But I wonder now, what endangered species? So let's look at the species that are endangered just to keep an eye out on what these could be and what we could add in. The eye eye, the phalanoke. I've never, let's see, it's a animal that eats earthworms from Madagascar and this counts as an endangered species. Um, 
There's some frogs that count as endangered species. Mountain gorillas, gibbons, a oh a great a great hammerhead shark. You know what? I would be happy to put a hammerhead in here. This is based on islands, so I could see us having quite a few aquatic exhibits as well. Especially because if we sprinkle the aquatic exhibits in throughout our parks, especially a smaller park like this, that is a lot easier because when you try to do maps that are all aquatic, it just crashes everything and it's very sad. So let's see, we've also got golden bamboo lemurs. I kind of, maybe we'll add in some golden bamboo leaders. European otters, not quite what we're looking for. Southern sea otters though, maybe. The red panda, leopard of Persia. Let's see, Kazuma Island raccoon. The platypus is endangered, so I think a picture of that one has counted. Oh, there's some fish we could add in. Now that would be fun. A spear tooth shark, oriental storks. Oh, the little South Island takais. Taka, taka, hey, taka, hey. We'll get there eventually. The Brazilian tapir is not quite the bars tapir, maybe. No, both of them are kind of more land based. <gasps> Giant Galapagos tortoise. Oh, we've got to do this one. Where can I stick him? Should I put him over here? We're going to put him over here. We're going to have a giant Galapagos tortoise because that, that is indeed one of the creatures I want to be able to feature in our zoo. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when I was a member of Timeshot, the really awesome, like, Mm, a survival Minecraft multiplayer server and I'm not in the member anymore because mine so like vanilla Minecraft is just really hard for me it was way too boring no matter what I tried to do but when I was a member we actually last summer raised money in a charity stream for a turtle sanctuary that is nearby in North Carolina and I am still so proud of everybody for all of the hard work they did to help raise the money and we raised something like what was it? Was it like 900? No, I think it was like a thousand something dollars. It was ridiculous. It was a lot of money, a lot of money. And it went to help out the, the Turtle Survival Alliance, the TSA in North Carolina. There, there, There's one in North Carolina and then their main world headquarters is in Texas. And they have saved so many species of turtle that have gone to be like put into a crock pot um, or cooked, especially in Asia. They're really popular as food items. And it, the rarer they are, the more value they have, the more people want them to be able to consume them, the rarer they are, because that's just kind of the way rare things work. And so it's been really fun when we raised money for them. And I know that they're like taking care of some of the last surviving populations of these Chinese turtles, like these endangered Chinese turtles. So that was really fun. But all right, we're going to build the Galapagos tortoise, a enclosure over here. And I think it's gonna be a nice one. I'm gonna actually put like a bunch of trees at the back over here. And I'm hopefully going to make it pretty nice for him. So let's see what kind of biome he needs. Semi desert, because there is not much going on on those Galapagos Islands. All right, so we want semi desert. There's a lot of really cool creatures. Um, semi arid, semi arid desert, there we go. All right, look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. We're really struggling to keep that half a star, but I think this should do it. I don't know if everyone's going to be as excited about the Galapagos tortoise as I would be, but they should because it's amazing. They're huge. They're they're quite the legacy in their own right. Look at him! Oh, I just get or her. I should say I can't wait to get her. I can't wait to get her. Okay, all right. I need to make sure we're prepared though. All right, scrub rock formation. Let's get it. Um, I don't think the Channel Islands formation, but let's go ahead. We're definitely going to need some heat lamps. So let's let's study up the heat lamps. Um, block of ice with a banana maybe. I'm going to go ahead and study this up just to see what it is. The reptile pool. Definitely need to make sure she has a little reptile pool. Um, let's see. And what kind of plants? Oh good. It sorts out the plants that she could enjoy. So not too many, but I definitely want to make sure she has some. Oh, spotted couscous is pregnant again. We might have to start releasing some of the spotted couscous at this rate. My goodness. But releasing them to the wild would actually be a very good thing. And they have been having tortoises born on the Galapagos Islands. There's more than just the giant Galapagos tortoise. There are several, other, several, several other species of tortoise that almost, almost met their extinction because everybody decided to eat them, more or less. And they have finally been having, after generations, like of attempts or I should say decades because I'm not sure how many generations of tortoise it was but decades of attempts they finally got it where there's wild born tortoises on some of those islands again and that is such a big deal and so exciting all right let's go ahead we'll put down some of these flowers I like the little clusters all right we can mix it with like these guys a little bit trying to make this look because if you ever notice plants often they don't grow neat and tidy 
they often grow in these like tight little clusters because that's where they can get the most. Let's see, let's put the reptile pool maybe at the back over here or should I put it towards the front? I feel like I should put it like over here like so. Let's see, maybe like this. So reptile pool right there and then we'll put the heat lamp. I'll put the desert heat lamp right over here and dang it that got rid of my things and then we'll put down let's see what does this look like that is a little too bright this looks pretty cool though so the scrub rock formation tucked right at the back there oh goodness not bad i like that it's a little bit tight on room for them to move but i think it'll be okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and put down Let's see, some blocks. Uh, let's just put down some like apples. Let's just sprinkle some apples down. And then we need to have spots for them to get water and spots for them to be able to get food. So I like to hide the grass, um, or I should say, yeah, it's grass piles, piles of grass that they can eat in with like the plants we put down because I always think that's fun. All right, then let's see. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at these trees. Common fig tree, there we go. That would be a good one. A nice olive tree. A shepherd's tree. I think we'll stick with like the low-lying trees because it'll actually make the the tortoises look even bigger that way which would be really cool. A weeping myrtle? You know what? Yeah we'll put one little weeping myrtle in the back corner there. Maybe another one to balance it. Whoops that's an olive tree. To balance it over here? No I think that's good. I think that's good. Maybe a few more plants. Oh some oregano. We can add in like a little bit of scent. Um, Maybe some of the Pacific plants just at the back like so. There's all sorts of cute little plants. Look at these guys. Oh man, I'm so happy to have more. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Oh no, my platypus is really hungry again. Why? Oh gosh, I'll have to take care of that in just a second. But I really am so happy to have more plants to be able to pick from because that makes everything much easier. There's cute little daisies. There's the snake plant. Maybe put a little snake plant in the back. Um, Let's see. Tall Bushman grass at the back. There we go. All right. And let's see, I'm gonna hide the water dish over here. Ah, dang it, it keeps like getting rid of all my stuff. We'll have to hide the water dish in a few places because otherwise I don't think they're gonna find it. <laughs> We're talking about a tortoise, you know what I mean? They're not gonna move the fastest. All right, let's go ahead, painstakingly put down all these plants. Whoops, that's the wrong spot. There we go. Oh, well, there goes my Bushman's grass. Is it still over here? There we go, tall Bushman's grass. Oh, I hear the kids like playing, that's so cool. All right, and let's do this. Now we have a female Galapagos giant tortoise and a male, and we'll put him over here. And now we're just gonna have to see how they take to the new area. Let's hire a new zookeeper. I wanna make sure that this guy is assigned to a few areas, so we'll put him here. No one seems to be attending our platypi, so I'm gonna put him here, him here. There, he's got a whole bunch to keep him busy, but I don't think the tortoises are going to be that demanding of him. All right, really quickly, let's come in and make sure our, our platypus is eating again. What are you doing, buddy? Can you not reach your shellfish again? What are you doing? Is he eating? He is so stubborn. We never have these problems with the other platypus. Ah, stubborn platypus. All right, I'm gonna put down a few more of the clay, like the clams, and we're starting to get to the point where I can't just keep tossing money around like this, so I'm gonna have to take my platypi. Platypuses, I know. All right, let's go ahead. I wanna put down, there we go. Come on over, everybody. Come, come and enjoy the wonderful sight of my little platypus. Or my tortoises, what am I saying? My tortoises. All right, and let's see, can I put this one? Paradise Arch. Can I put it like right here? Oh, almost. That would have been kind of a fun symmetry if it had lined up more, but it doesn't line up that much. All right, come on, platypus. Come on. Don't sniff the other platypus. Come and get something to eat. There's food everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at the other platypus playing with the little bone. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Oh, look at you. Look at you carry a little bone off. Oh gosh, that's really cute. All right, well, I'm gonna toss the little jar of fish in here. Maybe we just have like, maybe we just have a platypus who's not, not gonna make it in the end because he's just not all there. All right, there we go. Lots of people zipping around, lots of people donating. They really like the frogs apparently, which is a good thing. 
All right, we'll go ahead and put down that donation box and let's put down a bench or two over here. I need to sprinkle around more of these arches in better spots because these arches are absolutely essential for being able to make people happy and get them to enjoy our zoo. So maybe over here and I'll move the bench and the other things. Or maybe right here. Hmm. Right here. I think I'll put like two back to back right here that you have to walk through. And then I'll put the bench and sell this one. All right, there we go. Because those arches are super important in order to keep everybody amused. All right, I need to come in here and take care of these insects. Phew, all right. Feeding our frogs, there we go. And let's settle in and check on our, oh, he already moved all the way over here. Check him out. Look at our giant tortoise. They're so cute. They're so awesome looking. I really like their, their exhibit too. This turned out very nice. Oh, Platypus 2 is sick again. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. Platypus 2 is sick again. We'll take care of him in just a little bit. There we go. Oh, listen to him. Listen to him. That is one cool, that is one cool tortoise. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, he's finally going to eat. He's finally going to eat from the food he needs to. Am I going to disturb him? All right, let's watch for just a minute. We need to make sure that he's going to eat. Let's wait. Wait, come on, you're gonna go eat. Let's wait. It's gonna go eat. The other one's just so happy. The other one's happy as a lark. Swimming around. All right, you're not sick anymore. All right, so I think he was healed and now we just need to wait. So we still have our stubborn platypus. Oh gosh, but otherwise everything is going well in our zoo. Other than the platypus, it looks like the tortoises are just content to kind of sit in their corner, graze, munch, be happy tortoises. All right, they have their little apple. People are coming over to check them out, and we'll just have to continue to work on adding in another endangered species animal and adding the koalas and the tree kangaroos and all of the other awesome creatures next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.